What is up, YouTube? It's your boy Avery here, and welcome to a brand new Toxic Cancer Filled Mystic Mind deck profile. <laughs> so, I was looking through uh, some of my old deck profiles, and I noticed that it's been almost a year since November 2020 since I have posted a Mystic Mind um, Burn deck profile and updated you guys on the build. And I know that this is a deck I tend to update uh, from time to time, as does, as does my dad, because he's been playing Mystic Mind Burn since, you know, the concept became a thing. Um, and so I figured with the release of Crossout Designator and, you know, things coming out in the meta, Flundery, Swordmaster, all these things, I figured it would be good to update this deck and just kind of let you guys know where the deck is at right now, because there are changes that have been made to the deck, I just don't have all the cards for them. For example, we're now playing Pot of Prosperity instead of Magical Mallet. So, Make sure you guys hit that like button and that subscribe button. Uh, we're trying to get back to doing daily uploads if Konami brings back events that's still kind of up in the air. But regardless, let's just go ahead and dive into this Mystic Mind deck profile. So starting off, we are playing two copies of Planet Pathfinder. Yes, I am still opting to play Pathfinder. You can cut these if you want. There are so many different ways to play um, Mystic Mind Burn. I'm opting to play Pathfinder. It's another way to search it since you only have one metaverse. Um, it's also an ash target. I get that. Um, you know, again, it's it's just it's what I prefer to play. You know, I've seen builds that don't. I've even seen builds that play three Pathfinder and some that only play one, and some that don't play any. It's just all player preference. I like Pathfinder being able to get it. If I already have Fieldberry in my hand, this gets me right to Mystic Mind if they don't have a hand trap to stop it, um, and then I can just go Mystic Mind Field Barrier and just proceed to you know, play with myself. <laughs> uh, then we're also playing the two copies of Silent Wobby. This card is still very busted. You activate Mystic Mine, you activate the Silent Wobby in your hand, give it to the opponent. They don't get uh, the effect of Silent Wobby to draw a card, and you don't get the 2,000 life points, and it puts a monster on their board that they just can't do anything with unless they contribute it or link off with it or synchro with it. And then, of course, we are playing the three obligatory Mystic Mine. If you're not playing three, I don't know what you're doing because... Um, this card is just busted. It's your win condition. Um, and I also, now that I think about it, I want to take this time to, to address cross out designator with this card. And you know, the more I think about it, the more I thought, you know, okay, it's a card that, uh, you're going to have to deal with, obviously. Um, but I see cross out designator as almost like a back row removal card that the mystic mind player has to negate or has to put on the bottom of the three cards that you see off of Goddess Skull Oracle. Uh, obviously, if you're playing in remote duels, you can't use Goddess Skull Oracle, but I don't participate in remote duels because the majority of the people are going to cheat anyway. That's besides the point. I make this build to actually play in-person events. So, if the opponent wants to go down the route of playing a one-of, most likely, dead copy of Mystic Mind in their deck while I'm already playing Mystic Mind, just to cross out Designator me for the turn, assuming I don't already have a Goddess Skull Oracle setup or a Dark Bribe or Solemn Judgment or Cursed Seal of the Forbidden Spell set, then they can do them, boo-boo. Um, but I think that people are just still going to play back row hate to out this card or you know set up a board of negates, what have you, uh, instead of hitting this across that designator. If they do, then yeah, you don't have a negate, you're going to lose the game. But I don't really think it's something that you're necessarily going to have to worry about because, again, it's a dead draw. If the opponent opens with it, then they can't use cross out as an air to negate the Mystic Mind because they got a banish from the deck. So it's it's a dead card to them that they're just using for cross out designator. So we'll have to wait and see what happens, but that's how I think it's going to play out when it comes to Mystic Mind and cross out designator. We are also playing three copies of Pot of Extravagance, and I'm going to kind of show these all here at once because there are some changes here that I want to talk about. Three Extrav, three Duality, and then. We are currently also playing two copies of Magical Mallet. Now here's where things have changed. We have taken out one copy of Pot of Extravagance and two copies of Magical Mallet for three copies of Pot of Prosperity. I am not dumping $100 plus that just to get three Prosperities because there aren't really any events worth going to right now. If you have Prosperities, I would recommend taking out two Mallet and an extra to throw in three Prosperity. Um, the more pluses you can get, the better. It's strictly better than Magical Mallet um, because, yeah, you can mulligan your hand, but Prosperity just digs you deeper into your deck to get that one card that you need. It's so, so good. So definitely play those if you have them. If not, then yes, you can play the Mallets with the triple extra, but I would definitely recommend Prosperities instead. 
and we are playing the Cauldron Burn version because I have tried the Final Countdown version and I think it sucks ass. <laughs> uh, Triple Cauldron, if you're playing less than that, I don't know what you're doing. Don't play Wave Motion Cannon. Wave Motion Cannon is garbage. I said that a year ago. People are still playing Wave Motion Cannon. Stop playing Wave Motion Cannon. It is ass. <laughs> it's not worth playing at all. Trust me. You want to use Cauldron, burn the opponent. You can even, if you want to, just first game 500 or just start hitting them for 300 burn, whatever it is you want to do. Um, if it's like the first turn of the duel, I usually gain 500 life points, and then I just start burning them every turn. So yeah, Triple Cauldron, it's your win condition along with uh, Mystic Mine. And then we're playing three copies of Field Barrier. I've seen people play less than three. I personally like three because I want to see it as much as I can. Yes, it can be a brick if you don't have Mystic Mine. Um, and then it can also suck at the opponent Cosmic Cyclones you and you don't have a negate. But, you know, you're playing Mystic Mine. You're not... Uh, you're not expecting to do amazingly well with this deck. Um, we're pl still playing the two copies of Magic Reflector. I still really, really like this card. A lot of people hate this card. I still really like this card. You activate it, put it on the field barrier. They try to pop your field barrier. The counter gets removed instead. Uh, you put it on a cauldron. They try to pop the cauldron. Counter gets removed instead. It's People really don't see it coming, and it's really hilarious. We're playing three copies of Demise of the Land because it's Demise. We're playing one copy of Terraforming. And then I'm still on the triple Goddess Skulled Oracle. This will probably never change. I was debating between two and three. Uh, yeah, we're just going to play our three copies of Goddess Skulled and uh, control what the opponent draws. So, yeah. Fun times. Then we're playing two copies of Heavy Storm Duster, another copy of cards that people don't see coming, and it's really funny. Um, yeah, just you set it, you go first, the opponent sets some back row, especially against Paleozoic, because that matchup sucks. And you just go, okay, end phase, I'm going to pop a couple of your cards, or you can pop your own cards so that you can make room for, like, Cauldron or uh, Field Barrier or whatever it is that you may need. Then we're playing one copy of Metaverse. Three copies of Dark Bride, three copies of Solemn Judgment, and then one copy of Cursed Seal of the Forbidden Spell. Um, yeah, you uh, and the opponent activates a spell card. Uh, you ditch a spell from your hand to negate the effect of that spell card, and neither player can use it for the rest of the duel. So they try and hit you with Twin Twister, and then uh, they, they can't use Twin Twister for the rest of the duel, which is very nice. That's really all I have. Uh, the extra deck is just any 15 cards that you want, preferably cards that can use generic link materials in case you're playing against Lost World Dinosaurs. The side deck uh, is pretty much just whatever you want it to be with the new format. It's still kind of hard to tell what it is that people are going to want to be using. Um, right now, my side deck stands as me playing like Triple Gamma Seal, Triple Lightning Storm, triple evenly matched like just things that help you to go second because this deck's going second ability is not very good um dark ruler no more is also very good because even if you have cauldron you could play it and gain 500 life points you don't have to burn the opponent um just ways to break their board is going to be very key for you um even i've played with dimensional fissure macrocosmos twin twister Harpy, harpy's feather duster in the side deck just to help me with like those roguish matchups, especially Paleo, because Paleo is just such a tough matchup. I was playing against that earlier tonight, and uh, it was just a pile of dog ass because it's like, who the fuck's playing Mystic, or not Mystic Mind, who the fuck's playing Paleozoic in 2021? Like, not nah, the deck's trash if you're playing meta, but if you're playing Mystic Mind, that deck's gonna steamroll you. So anyways, you guys, that is my Mystic Mind deck profile. Uh, no combos to show because it were, it's not a combo deck. You activate Mystic Mind, activate Field Barrier, activate Silent Wobby in your hand, give it to the opponent, proceed to whip out your diddly, and proceed to play with yourself, as I like to say. That's the deck profile. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, and I will see you in the next video.